do feel a bit anxious because I have seen people in tears over uh, Trini and Susanna's comments and I feel there will be a few coming my way. It's like from the waist down, you're a flirty, sexy woman and from the waist up, you're an old frump. Frumpy is not the word I usually associate with myself, I have to say, so I'm a bit put out about that. If the worst thing Trini and Susanna call you is frumpy, you should be saying hallelujah because that's like never heard of. It's never been done. Hey guys, it's Briar of Briar Chats and this is a safe space for yappers. Now, after my dating in the dark video, I feel like it has really just put me in a going down, trashy, tragic 2000s TV show mood. Let's keep the good times rolling. Let's continue to have a little bit of a look back on the questionable at best TV shows that we used to watch in the 2000s and one show that came to my mind specifically for being both tragic and tray chic for being both traumatic and entertaining mm -hmm, is Trini and Susanna's What Not To Wear. Now I don't know if you guys ever watched this show but boy oh boy if this show was on TV I was tuning in, yes it's true, and I simply wanted to revisit it with you guys and see if it's aged as badly as I believe it has, because in my mind this show has aged shockingly, like like I'm, I'm, I'm expecting to cringe, I'm expecting to be like ooh, that's not and I thought why not revisit it together so if that sounds like something you're interested in stick around and let's get into it if you guys like this let me know in the comments and maybe let me know some shows that you would want me to revisit as we know on this channel I like take a minimal encouragement to do something like one comment asked me to do something and I'm there so chances are in your favor that if you request something I may do it but making but Promise me no promises. But yes, without further ado, on 1.25 speed, let's get into Trini and Susanna's What Not To Wear at 240 quality. So you know it's gonna be good. They don't know the difference between retro and downright dated. Your best friends may not tell you your fashion sense ground to a halt 20 years ago. But as you may have guessed by now, we're not your best friends, and we will. I feel like that intro would have been revolutionary and scandalous back then. I'm trying to remember who is Trini and who is Susanna. Can't remember at the moment. That's so interesting because to me, me personally, like I would hope my besties would tell me if something is not cute. Like that's not. Like of course, everyone's personal style is their choice. But if I look tragic and not tray chic, I'm really hoping the gals are gonna tell me. Like, the pals need to tell me. The dogs need to tell me. But yeah, that's so interesting that it's like, I feel like that's such a trope of like back in the day. It was like, your friends are too nice to say the truth, but we're not. Now you ask me my opinion, I'm gonna say it with peace and love. I'm never gonna be mean. I appreciate everyone's individual style, but that's just my opinion, you know? And I assume that people feel the same about me. Like, I am not a fashionista nay nay. But I do have a passion for fashion, it's true. And I feel like you don't have to be trendy to have a cool sense of style. But I'm getting way ahead of myself. Let's continue. This week, we're in the rather posh grounds of Eton College, Britain's most prestigious school. For three weeks, we've been secretly filming Sue Young, a dame at the school. A dame is Eton's version of a matron. She's always rushing around from one school event to another, as well as being a surrogate mother figure to 52 teenage boys. There's clearly been no time for shopping since 1985, although she does find time to accessorise Mr Darcy, the new love of her life. She looks like she's about to tell someone's fortune. <gasps> Look, what's she got there? It's an ankle chain. She's wearing her dog's collar around her ankle. Yeah, what is it? Diamante. It Judging by her wardrobe, we feel Sue What is it? Diamante. Oh my God, that is going into the vernacular. N new, new slang unlocked, guys. New slang unlocked. What is it? Diamante. Ah, oh, frothing. Oh my God, this is hilarious. <laughs> 
They are so ruthless. I feel like that was the whole shtick of the show. Like, newsflash, if you didn't watch it, newsflash, TLDR, the whole shtick was, we will roast you. Like, it's like a fashion roast. It'd be repressed by her environment, as we've seen glimpses of her inner flirt. It's our job to instill a bit of sartorial harmony, and that's why she's been nominated. One does have this idea of a, of a matronly-like figure when you talk about a dame at Eton, um, going around and seeing people off to bed, probably wearing tweeds. Not in Sue's case. I mean, they will be a very tight-fitting pair of leggings. She does verge on. I feel like that was a trap. Like, that's a way to quickly get yourself into HR, is to asking people... I... S he does this every time! Don't get dog. But I feel like that's, that's like, wah, wah, warning, you're gonna get sent to HR if you comment. Like, if anyone asked me to comment on one of my colleagues outfits no comment no thank you mm -mm. what's it the fifth amendment i will be using that thank you the tartiness occasionally the other dames are much less interesting in what they were whereas our dame really goes for it tries something different she um, doesn't follow trends i wouldn't say uh, she reads magazines but she doesn't take any notice <laughs> All the, all the kind of army rough gear, you know, it's like she's trying to kind of fade into the landscape. I don't like that. She should be a bit more proud of her body, look a bit more glamorous. Whether or not teenage boys know what is fashionable, they have the Trini and Susanna mindset. They have the mindset. They have what it takes. Because that was brutally honest. That was ruthless. Also weird that they're asking teenage boys what they think of their dame's dressing. It's giving strange. It's giving, I'm not sure, oh, that's not. I love how he's like, oh yeah, she reads the magazines. She doesn't pay attention though. She just reads them, doesn't get a clue. But yeah, just a bit more now. This is the uniform of the uninitiated in the exercise area because it's tight leggings, a big bag of white t-shirt and Sue's, it is the, the most unflattering thing. And I think when you exercise, you don't want to feel short and squat and that's what Sue's looking like. Oh, <gasps> there's Ooh. socks, little doggy socks. There's our sock shop 399 specials. Big baby shirts aren't great. I wonder what they think about that now. Because that is literally the athleisure fit. Hayley Bieber, she loves a baggy t-shirt. That's so interesting. Hmm. I get that it's not always maybe the most flattering. It kind of... And they're trying to... So I understand what they're saying. Yeah, I do. On big boobs. Rugby shirts are even worse. Her dog and her were separated at birth. <laughs> Just not say that. The left skin, her, her piece there. How old is she? She's 40, isn't she? But she looks older how she's dressing, Sue. She really does. Good legs, very good legs. Very good yeah. legs. <gasps> I think it's that. Have you noticed? Yes, I have. Short sleeved jacket. Short sleeve. We haven't seen one of those. It's not ever shoved up. Before. It's not shoved up. No, it's oh, a short sleeved shoot, jacket. And it's in Python print. <gasps> oh, that good old ribbed polar neck, somebody with tits. <gasps> it's chenille. It's like, it is you know, it's like nails down a blackboard to me, Chanel. I would like to go and get every one of these drums that's ever been made and burn them. <gasps> I'm going to hyperventilate now. Look at those tights. She's wearing the thick 20 dernier yeah. flesh coloured tights. She's a very attractive young woman. And I think it's. Uh, I think we, we, have, we have a duty to make sure that she goes out there and socks it to them. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Should we go and get her? Yeah. When you're attractive, you should wear good clothes. If you're not attractive, boo-hoo for you. No, I get what they mean. They just don't age yourself with your outfits, but also wear what you like. This is the thing. I feel like it was Miranda. Yes, I don't know if you guys know the comedian. She's British and she had a show called Miranda, but she did a, a mocking of these kinds of on the streets or asking people like about what they're wearing. And she's like, do you like it? And they're like, yeah. And they're like, well, very good, on you go. Like, if you like what you're wearing, does that not count for anything? Like, do we always have to be trying to appeal for a gaze? Also, I feel like they would hate my hair. I too suffer from frizzy heritis. I did get caught in the rain several times today. No, I don't want to talk about it. At our request, Kit, the chief nominator, has invited the other dames, housemasters and boys to a garden party under the pretext of having an announcement to make. Sue is blissfully unaware that we are about to gate crash. I think what she's done is she's banned. No, they're not. They're literally going to embarrass her in front of all of her colleagues, in front of the other dames. I'm quaking. Any sense of style in lieu of her responsibility and her job here. I would love that we could just show how Sue could be in this environment and she could actually be a bit different. We need to get a move on. Oh my God. Sit here, come past. 
dog's hair now <laughs> two weeks ago you went for dinner with the dames at bray didn't you Tonight, yeah. yes yeah we know we saw that really fine oh. short sleeve jacket of yours mm -hmm. and also dear sue <laughs> oh. aren't you always late for meetings I'm always late. You are, aren't you? And we've been secretly filming the last three meetings oh, where you've worn the same don't. bloody outfit. <laughs> and all you've changed is your tights. <laughs> you have been set up by Kit and the other dames as somebody who is in need of a complete wardrobe overhaul. We hear that your dog is better dressed than you are. <laughs> oh, now this. I was, I was about to about. <laughs> Sue, this check here is for £2,000. Oh. Okay. And every penny is for you. But... None of it will be going to you unless you hand over your body, your wardrobe. Not my life, and my this hair! <laughs> <laughs> this hair! I swear if they straighten her hair, I'm gonna spew. What was it in the 2000s they hated curly hair? Where was my representation? Aside from Carrie Bradshaw and she's a menace. Go back to school and learn the basics all over again. Are you up for it? Oh, are you up for it? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, well, I can only improve. Oh. I'm sorry, I would literally die of embarrassment. Like, RIP me, here lies me, because my friends think I'm so unfashioned for passion that they called Trinith and Susanneth on me. £2,000, though, that sounds like a lot. Because £2,000 would be like 4000 New Zealand dollars. And maybe 3,000 US dollars, or I don't know which way it goes. Don't quote me on that. I do feel a bit anxious because I have seen people in tears over uh, Trini and Susanna's comments, and I feel there'll be a few coming my way. Rightly so, I'm sure. <laughs> dear, oh dear. I'm sure my wardrobe assassination will give, give everyone a good giggle. A few days later, Sue comes to our office with her entire wardrobe to watch the secret footage. <gasps> oh, you thought it was a good oh. video. Oh dear. <laughs> good pose, that pose. Look at those leggings, Sue. Well, look at them all sagging else, and bagging at the knee. What else do you wear for yoga? I mean, do you feel kind of attractive in that outfit? No, I don't mean to be attractive. You like to swathe yourself, don't you, sometimes? I mean, this is the opposite of what you're wearing today, but, you know, the rugby shirt, the big man shirt, the big white baggy T-shirt. Well, yes, covering up all those. This is one of the worst tragedies of a jacket we have ever seen, actually, especially the cropped sleeve. Yes. Oh, stuffing. How embarrassing. Look. I will say, I agree, that jacket is feral. Burn it! Burn it! It's probably highly toxic and flammable as well. I'm sorry, I'm not a huge animal print person and I feel like I give off animal print vibes, but for some reason it's just, it's not me. I feel like some people look so cool in it and I just don't. Great story, Briar. Oh dear. <laughs> you do wear, tend to wear polo necks all round necks, don't you? I wear all polos a lot. They just mm. don't suit you, Sue. And also, your, all your skirts are quite short, I have to say. They are quite short. So the, we feel that, you know, although you dress to conform with the other dames and the environment, there is a bit of a flirt underneath all this, we mm. feel. Oh, my housemaster. Do you own a short skirt? Then you may be a flirt. They're like, um, she's not like other dames. She's flirty. Okay, whatever that means. Oh, my housemaster. Yeah, this could be a case in point in the flirting could it? scenario. Oh, I'm looking very businesslike. Oh, shoes off. Well, that's a very casual approach to Ooh. take with one's housemaster, isn't it? Shoes off. It's like you've sort of been there many a late night. <laughs> <laughs> well, a very close relationship. Mm -hmm. It's like from the waist down, you're a flirty, sexy woman. And from the waist up, you're an old frump. Oh, thank you. Because this is the most cheeky we've seen you. Is this your true colours or are you just having us on today? No, I think, sadly, this probably is my true colours, yeah, okay. but I don't have huge opportunities yeah. to break out. I can't go trotting around Eden looking like this. It's probably... well, a bit Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, isn't well, it? I am. Frumpy is not a word I usually associate with myself, I have to say, so I'm a bit put out about that. 
Honey, if the worst thing Trini and Susanna call you is frumpy, you should be saying hallelujah because that's like never heard of. It's never been done. I think frumpy is just the beginning of the adjectives that are going to be less than complimentary. Time for Sue to reveal the true colours of her wardrobe. Well, I'm not sure if we're in a kind of wildlife safari park or Sylvester Stallone's mother's wardrobe. <laughs> But should we just start with? Let's oh. start with. Yes, hallelujah. Where's the lighter? I just want to get a match to that now. <laughs> you know what? Looking at you in this, when you we were sitting down in that restaurant, I first of all thought to myself, you're 50. I really did. Oh, you please. think it's a, a snazzy snake, but it aged you so much. So. Anything with an animal print has to go. Oh, no. Yes. yes. Well, that would be practically everything. Not my machine. Yes. Your machinos are going. Your mosquito. Correct me in the comments of, if I'm wrong, but I'm guessing that she was in her 20s or like a teen and in her 20s in the 80s. And I feel like that's why she loves the animal print and like is so attached to it. Like, I feel like animal print can be fun. I'm not saying just because I don't wear it, other people shouldn't. It's kind of like how in 2020, everyone wore cow print. And now all I can think of with cow print is 2020. No, 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 all of them. Yeah, yeah, because you know why they've got to go? Every picture we saw of you where it was the least flattering, did nothing for you, and I don't even think it was that practical, was the rugby shirt or the shirt. Well, there's a lot so, to go then. Yeah, those. And those. And I'm even going to include these little silk numbers. Come on, then. Fling it. Oh, oh. Yes. Oh, okay. Fences. This is a really nice way of doing it. <gasps> oh, that's my horn blower outfit. Oh, sorry, what, what horn blower? I didn't oh, understand. Yeah, the top. Oh, oh. I mean, that is old fashioned. It's got a stretchy thing again. It's, it's so disgusting, I can't even touch it. That's You're not Hurricane Higgins, you never will be. You're not Hurricane Higgins, you never will be. Waistcoats and are bigger eaten. They might be bigger eaten, for it doesn't the boys. mean you have to make them big. The shape of this. Waistcoats have actually come back in fash. I bought one, but I, f I don't know how to style it without looking like Avril Lavigne in 2002. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know how to not style it like that. Like, I see other people wearing them and looking so chic and I just want to be like that. I don't understand what's Hurricane Higgins? Okay. Top is so good for you because it's a sort of sweetheart neckline and it's fitted. Oh, I thought you'd say that was hideous. Mm. No, we said the shape of this oh, right. top is very good for you. <laughs> I'm um, surprised. This is what inspired me to, to go. um, name you Sylvester Stallone's <laughs> mother. It's a T-shirt. Not, not only is it a T-shirt with gold, in the garden, then, but can I tell you, it, cash. it has got. Not like a job. But it's a T-shirt with shoulder pads in it. Is it. What era do you live in? What decade? Now this drawer here. I will say though, I'm like, can't we keep a single comfy cloth? Like, can't I have a comfy cloth or two? Do I have to look put together when I'm just sitting at home or gardening? Like, why can't you wear a rugby shirt for gardening or going to like a a rugby game. Just asking questions. Just a curious cat asking questions. It's my don't deserve it. There are all sorts of things in there which have never been used. Why right? haven't they been used? Because they're waiting for good reason to be used or for me to have been successful in my diet or something like that. It's okay, little... so it's little prizes yes. for you. Sad, isn't it? I hope by the time we finish you don't need that because I think everything in your wardrobe you will feel you deserve. Okay, mm -hmm. and I think Good. that's where we've got to get to. That's our mission. Sue, yeah, and I think that's a that really... That. Yeah, I think that's yeah. a really important yeah. point, Sue, because you really do deserve to treat yourself okay and you know we we really want to help you and well, you'll have more time be a huge to have relief. fun why are these going oh please <laughs> like that's so bad it's good but yeah they gotta go leopard collection gone much beloved things gone feel i don't know how i feel quite sad really and i've got nothing to wear now we show sue the uncut error of her ways <sighs> Can I come out there? Nope. Who do you see in that mirror? <laughs> Floozy. <laughs> Floozy Susie. Well, we did say, didn't we? Jekyll and Hyde. I might wear this to go out on the pool. But do you think, what message do you think that's giving? Well, very tarty. Mm. So what kind of man are you after is the question, I think. Tarsome. Are you just <laughs> after sex? <laughs> Are yeah, you just after sex? Certainly not. not okay, so then. Get much of that either. I just wanted to kind of get a little sneak oh! of this. What's what's that all about, you cheeky thing? <laughs> what is that all about? Oh, what's wrong with this? Well, Why did you drop a pencil on the ground? Sorry, I had to pick my drawer off the floor. That made me feel a little unwell. I'm not gonna lie. I don't like that. Mm mm. Like, I'm sorry. Who doesn't own a skirt that's that length? Tarty, fratty, slutty, sl Sally. Like, oh. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> She's got an answer for everything. We've got to teach you how to do sexy. Yeah. Can you get Medea? I think we might have to come in with you this time, actually. This is so busy. It's like nipple button, tit, you know, 
<laughs> ton, I mean, there's so many buttons on this thing. We, we really do say that, you know, it's not about following fashion, it's about wearing clothes that suit you. But I this really nice think up. this is one time <laughs> when you do need to be a little bit more fashionable. All your clothes make a statement, Sue. So the last outfit, it was sort of hooker barmaid God knows what on the pool. <laughs> this says, I don't buy any clothes now, I bought them all in the 80s. Mm. I said that. I feel like her shoes are very inappropriate for the rest of her outfits. So, like, those strappy sandals with the the double-breasted vest in her blazer. Whatever that means. We're seeing your figure. We're seeing that you've got a wonderful waist. We're mm -hmm. seeing that you've got great bosoms. We're not really seeing that you've got much of a chin or a head. And the knit of this is just making you look bigger than you actually are. She said knit. Get your mind out of the gutter. But I mean, you know, you've got a great figure and we've never seen it. I did have a few compliments, which was very nice. It's unexpected, I have to say. I haven't burst into tears quite yet. We've got rid of 90% of your wardrobe, Sue, so the least we can do is come up with great rules which you can look at, understand, we want you to understand them, and go off and get a wardrobe that's very transient. It will move from one event in your life to the next without being as jarring as your previous wardrobe. First one is the yoga outfit. These are yoga trousers. They're very floppy, they're flattering, they don't cling to your thigh. The shoes are something that, you know, the boys at school wear covered. Then for those meetings. Ha! I hate those. I'm upset. Uh, 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 uh. I'm sure that those actually would be quite cool now. Like, I feel like some people could pull them off, but I'm upset. I don't like it. Those meetings. On the surface, quite a conventional suit, but it's actually supremely well cut because it's very nipped in the waist. So we're really going to see your figure. The trousers are quite tight around the bottom, so they're going to hug your butt rather than fall straight from it. So we're really going to see that butt because we need to see it because it's a very good bottom. And the most important outfit for you is the evening seduction outfit. So forget about that kind of everything on display, here I come, Sue. That, that woman is buried, all right? Instead, in her place, we have a person who grows on you, that you look at her and you think, that's so... The whole thing is appealing. And then you look closer and you say, what a sexy ass!" because you're wearing a quite tight skirt which cups you under the bum and shows off everything but subtly. Ass! I love the way that British people say ass. <laughs> ass! And I feel like in America it's like ass, ass, and then in New Zealand it's just ass. And then people don't really know what you're saying. I find that, that we have that problem a lot actually. So. I do feel like in general their advice is not terrible. It was just, it's salacious, right? The show was to be jaw dropping, like shaking in your boots. They were gonna be brutally honest to make you look hot. Like what's the price to looking good? Just being roasted by Trin and Sue, easy peasy. You only will probably cry a couple of times. And then you can go forth and multiply, mm -hmm. hopefully with Mr. Darcy. The yeah. two-legged one, not the yeah. Google. From now on, things will improve. I have been promised that I'm going to look wonderful with some good, sensible advice. Everything will improve. So you won't be embarrassed to be seen with me ever again. Okay, that dog just made my dog look very well behaved. They do not bite my fingers. Imagine, I have a German Shepherd. Imagine if he tried to bite my fingers, even in a playful way. Ouchies. His toofers are huge. But very cute dog. Oh, I'm excited. We're going shopping. Let's go to the mall. Get in, loser. We're going to shopping. How many things can I quote? I guess we'll never know. We have lots of little black dress occasions at Eton, and I think this would probably be uh, quite good. As long as I cover my cleavage, we dames have to be a bit, uh, a bit of decorum now and again. And then, of course, when I'm out on the town in Windsor, leopard bra. <laughs> All dieting, the exercise are not working. I've got to be much harder with myself. Nothing's coming out of that don't deserve it drawn. I've seen this whole. She seems to be really obsessed with like the three quarter or like half sleeves. And I'm like, I don't like it. Like short or long. Am I Trini and Susanna? I don't know. But yeah, she seems to really like, she's not shy, which is why it's so surprising that she like shows, is happy to show off her legs, but then tries to cover up the top. Like, I don't know. It is an interesting observation for sure. Those are quite nice, aren't they? But I can see that they're right about the V-neck. And I like that. It's just I feel it's still a bit too... Oh, I think the headmaster approved of this. Black knickers underneath. Very subtle. <laughs> There's just so much choice. And I'm now feeling slightly pressurised to choose the right things and go for colours that I wouldn't normally. So, um... A bit confusing, really. You know, 
know, it's kind of the I like suits because it's a day of taking back a bit of control. You know what I'm like? Mm, yeah. How much has she spent? She spent quite a lot. She spent 800 quid so far. I think we need to just be aware that, you know, you can make a mistake with 800 pounds, but we don't want to make a mistake with any more. Yeah. Lovely suede trousers. We've come to check up on Sue and make sure she spends the rest of her money according to our rules. <gasps> oh, thank God she put yeah. that back. She can't wear any more minis. I have to say, I don't know which one is which still, but the one with the highlights, so on trend now, again. I feel like they both love the really, like, the Rachel style of a hairstyle. Imagine if they had color analysis on their show. I feel like that would be fun. I feel like this lady's probably a winter question mark. It's hard to tell with the 240p her undertone, you know? Not gonna lie, it's kind of hard to see the details, but we're getting the vibes. She just has that thing thinking that short is sexy. Mm. Very short is sexy. With our help, she'll, she'll be spot on. Yeah, okay. Quick. We both think the same, but I just, I feel we do need to try to imitate the price of the image. Oh, come, on, come, on, come, on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, okay, so the, we haven't really advanced from when we saw you in the studio. Yeah, have we? Is that what still... you mean? V-neck? No, you've got, you've got, you know... Brown. Subdued hooker. Well, I'm really mortified. You kept saying I was frumpy. So yeah. this is not frumpy. Mm -hmm. This is my, you know, just because I'm a dame doesn't mean to say I've got to be a complete dull art. No, totally. you're a this is playtime. This, this is playtime. Play this is a bit frilly. And, and to be honest, with, yeah. with big boobs, and I have exactly the same thing, as soon as I put lace or frills next to my chest, it makes the garment look cheap. And also okay. looks like underwear. I don't know what's happened. I don't know if there was a... Did anything penetrate the brain? I don't know. What I'm nervous about is what she has spent her £800 on so far. Fingers crossed there's a good return policy. I think that, that you're kind, they're kind of setting them up for fail and for good TV when they do that. Because it's like, you literally yelled at her that all of her clothes were bad. Like, and then told her so many things. Like, it's too much information for anyone to fully absorb, let alone in like a heightened situation. And then being just given money to be like, okay, go fix it. I feel like she wasn't set up for success she's not being set up to be ariana grande so successful yeah she spent a lot of money and if it's gone on like that I know. we're in big trouble i know i know you have a look how does it feel i like that i feel yeah. happy but i would definitely slam on a polo neck underneath it yeah well you would have done in the old days i would have done you would probably be better off keeping it undone and just hanging like that because you do it up and it does begin to pull. But yeah, if you got it too big, it wouldn't give you that nice slim look that you're getting there, which you want to keep. I definitely feel like she is a winter because this color is kind of giving summer or even autumn-y, like it's not deep enough. And I feel like she could do with like a bolder color, emerald or forest green blazer. I don't know, it could be fun could be fun if I were to be famous for one reason and one reason only I think it would be for someone to tell me what my color season is because I can never tell I can't tell if I'm a spring no a summer or a winter I don't know getting there which you want to keep that's quite nice it's important she gets the right size in those because you don't look too flabby around the bum especially as Sue has no bum you know with you you need to take a small size don't yeah. you I take a bigger size because of my ass does spread because I'm caked up, I have to buy a bigger size. I love this technology. This 2000s technology is so iconic. I think it's the nostalgia for sure. Nostalgia. That's not how you say that word. But do you know what I mean? Like, I love this kind of stuff. It really speaks to me. Let's see how she goes. I feel confident yeah, about I do too. her choices here. I think she's going to be mm -hmm. fine. No sign of Susanna and Trini. This is the only store they haven't jumped on me and said I've made some faux pas. Well, we know she's still hankering after a really pretty summer dress. Mm. I want, uh, I want the dress crazy, to yeah. make me look wonderful. I want to look slim and tall and gorgeous. So is there such a dress? I wonder. I don't know if dresses are going to suit her. It's just that classic problem that if it fits on the tits, it's too big on the waist. Yeah. But I would be happy if we could find some kind of sexy seduction outfit. Mm. Would I look ravishing in this? Ravishing, that's what I want to look ravishing. Hello. I feel like that dress that she was looking at where it was like the kind of like the you know the girly summer dress I feel like that could be quite a good choice I don't know but I think it would need to have like a short puffy sleeve and then cinch in at the waist and then I feel like you know an hourglass shape I don't know I I do not have big bobs so i don't really know how to give advice for this stuff and she doesn't care oh my gosh i just realized if she's 40 
This lady is now 60. I wonder what she's wearing now. Would love to know. Come on, Elvie. You're going to look a bit dodgy. And my God, does it. It's look very dodgy. Oh. Pick some stuff up along the way because you just, we just thought you were going to a stage where you've done a lot of shopping and there was so much to choose from and you were feeling frustrated. Frustrated, confused, and very depressed. Do you remember we said no frills, no decoration, no... But it was just looking for a... It's all going on in this dress, isn't it? Oh, I know. Just to get that top. Swimming that costume, okay. please. The skirt is absolutely mm -hmm. stunning. Great shape for you. But look at the sexiness here. Look, no, no, look at the side. Look, turn to the side. Look. Oh, and that much. is really sexy. I like this shape for work. But I do feel like like a slippy, satiny... I don't know if tight on the behind is the best advice. But I feel like back then, like, booties were looked at in a very different light. Like, if, you're, if you didn't have a pancake, you were caked out quite good isn't it yeah that could be the do bit you think that my housemaster would mind that well what do you think do you want him to mind that so you know what's really bugging me i know can i ask you something you know these aren't such good pull-ups are they these ones Ooh. you know they aren't such good pull-ups are they so should we just get rid of them oh just get them off your so you will never oh. okay. ever wear them again yeah okay. gosh and how i'm going to get okay. out of this need a okay. stanley anywhere. knife anywhere. fantastic <sighs> so you might have to get a zip put in here. It's a bit fierce, isn't it? Fierce, what do you mean? Well, don't I look a bit fierce in this? You look sexy. I think it fits you like a glove. I like that. That is a great, like, black dress for her. No, I do. I do like it. On <sighs> here, on your bum. Can I just, I think you just Thanks. need to pull them up. Excuse me. <laughs> we are, we do know each other quite well, Wait, Is this your good bra, Sue? This is my Rigby bra. But this is not, you need a wonder bra, pushing yeah. them forward and that. I was literally just about to say, did they go underwear shopping with her? Because, like, even just for, like, like, uh, it doesn't need to be, but it, if you have a, a frumpy bra, it doesn't look right under a form-footed outfit. You guys know what I mean. Okay, okay. I think you should definitely get that. Yeah. It's fortunate you do look so good next. You might never get out of it. Sue returns to the What Not To Wear apartment with her new clothes. It's out with the frizzy mop and in with the sexier, sleeker Sue. <laughs> what did I say? I said I would spew if they straightened her hair. Ah, uh, this makes me so angry. Angry as a frizzy, curly-haired girly. I hate it. I hate it here, so I will go to secret gardens in my mind. <sighs> I get it. Back then, they, they were the hateritis for curly hair back then was so real but like I feel like if they gave her a cut that shaped her curls better like that is a more long-lasting solution to make her feel better every day because I feel like her haircut made her hair very round whereas you want it to have more dimension and like learn how to dry it but that, there was absolutely none of that no time for curly hair in the 2000s <laughs> I hate those shoes. They are so not correct. That is not correct. Because according to the encyclopedia, um, they don't match the vibe of the dress. I don't like it. Mm -mm. Like, I feel like even just a closed toe shoe would be better. Like a closed toe heel. And the heel is so, like, it's like a weapon. Crikey. <laughs> Where am I? Where's Sue? You are, first of all, at least 10 years younger. I mean, that's what, that's what I, I noticed more than anything. That's why my grey hair's gone. No. I just realised both Trin and Suze, I think, are pregnant. Oh, I, I, wow, okay. That, I don't know why it took me so long to realise. I was overwhelmed, okay? There's a lot going on. But it's no. not because of that, Sue. It's because your eyes are suddenly so blue. You don't look old-fashioned like you're stuck in a time warp anymore. You... I can't get over how young you look. How does it feel? Does it scare you a bit that you look so different? Well, I don't recognise myself. I'm so used to seeing myself with my curly-whirly manic hair. Does it feel like my hair at all? It doesn't feel like a Brillo pad. It feels like hair. You say that you don't recognise yourself and no-one else is going to recognise you, but maybe that's not such a bad thing. This is a new era for you. No leopard. No leopard. Well... You know what they say, take the girl out of the leopard, but has the leopard come Well, out you know what, that doesn't matter. That's that doesn't matter, that's good. Here I am, ready for yoga? Yep. Well, this feels much more like me. That is nice. I'm not sure I liked the stark white. I maybe would have liked a grey? I know, that's such a boring suggestion. Okay, Briar, cool. And? But do you know what I mean? Like, it's a bit... 
but I feel like that's very of the time and I do think it is a nice outfit and it's not too impractical like it's not too aesthetic driven for a workout. Like someone who does yoga five days a week because your figure looks so fantastic. Whereas before in that big baggy t-shirt mm. the tight cellulite revealing what? leggings. Yes, yes, yes. I'm sorry, but through that, even through that they were black, you now look. God forbid anybody have cellulite. Oh my God. That it was like she said you could see your... Everyone has cellulite. Everybody has those days. And I'm pretty sure everyone has cellulite. It's just skin. Like it's just, you've, you've lost weight without doing anything apart from putting clothes on. You look great. Well, this might don't mess with me. Oh, it's <laughs> damn right it is. It's classic and what it's doing is showing off your shape to its best advantage whilst giving you the kind of authority as you say and you're going to knock the other dames dead by looking like this. I think you've done a surprising job with me. The outcome is so dramatically different to when we first met you, and I never thought you would come such a long way. It's been a little trip. I still look now, and I can't quite believe it to you, I have to say that. And uh, we hope that, you know, you get your man. Mr Darcy will still recognise you. Mm -hmm. I hope it's so. by smell with him, nothing else. And the boys are going to be dead proud of you, so... Well, mm -hmm. I want the boys to be proud yeah. of their day. Yeah. That is very important. Yeah. Listen, mm -hmm. it's been great. And you look <laughs> Smooches on the mouth, that was a lot. I do think the makeup really brings out her eyes because before that I didn't notice her baby blues. Again, the 240 quality doesn't help, but it does bring out her eyes. I just wish they had styled her hair curly. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna stop going on about it. It will be the bee in my bonnet. Mm -hmm. Such a great collection of colors. Your purples and browns work very well with her new hair. All her tops come out with flying colours. They're great shape, they hide the tummy, they show off her assets, and the colours are fab. And all the accessories, you know, she's really gone to town on two bags, belts, great shoes, boots, the scarf. Yeah, she sort of did that on her own, didn't she? I mean, she's really got it. The girl has got it. She got such a great selection of clothes for her lifestyle, and she spent £2,136 overall. Our cameras follow Sue as she returns to her normal routine to ensure the only animal prints unleashed upon her wardrobe are those of Mr. Darcy. God, she looked amazing, didn't she? Yeah, she did. I mean, that difference in that, the hair. I mean, I know she's not going to be able to keep it like that, but it's just incredible. Oh, that's nice. It's kind of casual. She still looks 10 years younger, Susanna. And it is having the straighter hair. And I mean, softer clothes. She looks like she's taking her dog to crafts. Oh, it makes me mad. Uh that really makes me mad. I didn't think that this would be what would upset me the most, but it is. The amount of weight she's lost by wearing the right shaped clothes. Jeans look fantastic on her. A really good bootleg cut. Even her yoga outfit looks really fabulous. And then before she looked just like a sack. But it just shows that those clothes you can wear and you can be very flexible in, arse over tip, and then you go out and get a pint of milk down the high street or, you know, go and have lunch with someone. Mm. It's... That's a brave shot to allow to be filmed. I know. Arse in the camera, bending over. Mm -hmm. She must feel more confident about her body doing that. Mm. Look at her. I mean, to have a dame like that. Mm. She's very approachable, what she's wearing, but, but she's quite glamorous. Mm. You know, she's not a frumpy matron. Mm. Not at all. More kind of uh, subtle, a bit more sophisticated. Um, and I think I'm not, I, I approve, I like it. I feel like she actually looks way more appropriate for her job. Like before, it was like, it, it was frumpy but also inappropriate. Whereas now she looks she looks like what you should wear around teenage boys as your job. I think she's got much subtler clothes. They look a lot better. I think Sue's now walking tall and she's strutting her stuff. I think that the change that has been brought about has introduced a new element to her, which maybe existed before, but which perhaps hasn't come out before. I tell you, she's not gonna be single for long. This was her, her previous moment to this, do you remember, was the cropped jacket in the, in the kind of tiger print. Uh -huh. So this is her being sexy in a, a very different outfit. On the oh. lips. Let's see. But she change. has become a classic. And it's like nothing was too trendy, nothing was too fashionable. That's how she can dress for the next 30 years and, and not look out of date. Not gonna lie, I still don't know which one's Trini and which one's Susanna. I should have paid more attention when they referred to each other. But... Final thoughts and opinions, shall we? It was as bad as I thought it was, but in some ways it wasn't. Like, I think that this episode may not have been the most out of pocket. Because even she was like, not crying, not screaming, crying, throwing up. 
it was just like they I think they called her frumpy and a tart a lot they really treated her like she was Bridget Jones and like the worst thing you could be is wearing animal print and being single at 40 uh yucky but I do think like from the lens of at least 20 years later I'm assuming her outfits are pretty timeless I will say it is an interesting time to be watching this because I feel like a lot of 2000s trends have come back around whereas maybe if you were watching this in like 2016 you'd be like this stuff is not timeless where are the skinny jeans but I do think it's pretty classic and I do appreciate that they try not to invest in trends I think overall I can see why it was such an entertaining time I would love to know if Trini and Susanna actually were like that like were they really that ruthless or was it a character like were they just putting on a show I would love to know but I don't know I would love to know what you guys think in the comments down below did you watch the show back in the sleigh has it aged just as badly as you thought it would I feel like this episode was not the worst one we could have watched so if you want to watch another one also let me know but yes thank you guys so much for watching if you stay till the end you are a real one don't forget to like comment and subscribe, subscribe. and if you want to keep up with me between my uploads i'm on tiktok and instagram and i'll link my vlog channel down below but don't you worry guys because i'm not funny there either bye